And what brings you into my territory, little rabbit? Don't you know humans like you aren't supposed to wander about at night? You're being a fool. <laughs> I can smell the fear on you. What? Are you afraid that I'll attack you right now? <laughs> now that was worth everything. Oh, is that a silver dagger you just drew out? Hmm. Tell me, what brings you here? That's why you're wrong, human. I have every right to ask. You're in my woods now. Oh, you're giving me the silent treatment now, are you? Hmm, no matter. I know why you're here. I can smell the lingering scent of my kind's blood on you. You're a hunter, aren't you? Oh, wait, I'm so sorry. Don't be getting all red in the face now. I forgot you humans don't call yourselves hunters. After all, that is a derogatory term for us creatures of the night. You call yourselves exterminators, right? Hmm. I don't see how I'm the pets between the two of us. After all, I'm not the one trespassing in your territory. You really went out of your way, didn't you? miles from any human establishment, and you still find me enough of a threat to track me down exactly as a hunter would. <laughs> Do you really think I would run all 20 miles to the nearest human town just to feed on a human and back again by the end of the night? Oh, foolish rabbit, you are stupid. I wonder when you plan on attacking me. After all, now I'm aware that you're not a sweet little rabbit at all, that you're looking at me like prey. <laughs> Both of us know that if you had maybe stayed back a few miles or arrived earlier, you could have easily taken down my baser human form. As it stands, even the weakest werewolf can stand to defeat any ordinary human such as yourself. The funny thing is, I thought a peaceful creature like me would be safe from monsters like you if I lived out here, peacefully without any ire. I am the monster? Do you want to know why werewolves don't live in packs anymore? The pack mentality used to make us stronger, but now the emotional ties are a liability because of predators like you. So, why are you here to kill or how do you humans so quaintly put it, exterminate me? I don't recall ever posing a threat to any mortal in my many many years of life. Your mentor sent you, did he? Ah, oh, the bald man with the white beard I met a few weeks back. I was in my human form at the time. He has a good eye. Let me guess. You were just an apprentice, and he wanted to let you out in the field alone, but he didn't want you to die. So, he picked a non-aggressive wolf for you to hunt. Oh, I am right. <laughs> you humans really are too easy to predict. Like a rabbit, you run back to your burrow every time you're chased. Until then, you hop about like the world belongs to you. So, let me tell you right now, rabbit. You have proven yourself to be much too impulsive when it comes to hunting a werewolf. Perhaps you should give up this career and shoot for hunting things more 
in your league. Perhaps said fish would be enough of a challenge. <laughs> you didn't like that, did you? Here I have your wrist in my hand, your dagger inches away from plunging into my chest. Hmm. Well, I suppose one man's dagger is another man's short sword, wouldn't you say, Bilbo? Have you never read J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit? Now who's the uncultured swine? In any case, I don't have time to die right now. Oh yes, I know it hurts, but stabbing me would have felt worse, trust me. You can still walk, can't you? And get out of these woods and don't turn back. Unless, of course, you can behave yourself. Then I will be happy to let you in my home for some tea and pie. I'll even wrap up that wound if you want. It's been a while since I've had company. I'm not too picky. Hmm. I know silver weapons aren't that easy to come by these days, but I'm going to take this dagger. It doesn't seem like you'll need it for the duration of your stay. I just have one last question. Do you read, like, at all? <laughs>